School children in Taji welcome dignitaries from the local area, including sheikhs and leaders of the Iraqi Army, Iraqi Police, and U.S. Military, to the grand reopening of the Taji Media Center. The Taji Media Center runs a radio station that promotes peace and reconciliation. Ali Booney, the center's director, says Iraqis need to put aside sectarian violence and hopes his voice makes a difference. Now they will focus about to support the democracy here in Iraq, specifically in Taji, reconciliation and telling the truth over, uh, over the air to the, all the Taji people. The station started broadcasting last year, but thanks to help from multinational division Baghdad soldiers, from the 1st Cavalry Division and the 2nd Striker Brigade Combat Team, 25th Infantry Division, they were able to move into a new building and obtain better broadcasting equipment. The 2nd Squadron, 14th Cavalry Regiment Executive Officer, Major J.D. Heifel, believes the station's free speech, much like in the States, is a right that should always be protected. I think it's a, uh, a step forward for the uh, local government here and the local people of Taji, and it represents progress, which is always a good thing. With the sheikhs from Taji, Tarmia, and Horabash, both Shia and Sunni, coming together for the ceremony, soldiers say the peace process seems already apparent in Taji. Reporting for the 2nd Striker Brigade Combat Team, 25th Infantry Division, I'm Army Sergeant Marshal Pasta, Multinational Division Baghdad Public Affairs. Hi, I'm Dennis Haysburg. Michael Irby. Max Martini. Robert Patrick. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Baghdad, Baghdad 360. 360. With Memorial Day right around the corner, a tribute to the sacrifice American service members have made throughout history, I visited two soldiers with the North Carolina National Guard's 1132nd Military Police Company, whose primary mission is to train the Iraqi police to provide safety and security to the citizens of Iraq. They shared stories with me about their fellow soldiers who have made the ultimate sacrifice and how they have carried on with the mission at hand. We show up. You guys need to have these on. When I think about what we're doing here and the change that we're making, I think about how it affects me and it affects everybody else. And I'm very proud to say I hold another man's life in my hand when we go out of this wire every day. I love what I do. I wouldn't change it for nothing. The Army is not just about deploying, going to Iraq, fighting in combat zone. The Army is also about meeting lifetime friends that you just can't meet anywhere else. Yeah, I've been to college, I've met a few friends, but in the Army where I, have, I met my true friends. The, tr the kind of friends that, that walk in when the rest of the world walks out. One of my passions in life would have to be number one, boxing. I mean, I've done it since I was nine years old. Since I could crawl, I had my own set of boxing gloves beating up on Ernie and Bert. Fighting was never about winning or losing. It was never about that. It's about coming in here, showing up, saying you can hit me as hard as you want, and I'm gonna keep coming after you. And that's something that me and Eeks, we shared. I reflect back on the so my fellow soldiers that I lost, and you always think that, oh, it's never gonna happen to us. Or if you hear about another soldier, from another unit that died, you're like, hey, hey, you know, I feel that unit's pain, but you always think it's never gonna happen to you. But then you lose somebody very close to you that you went to high school with, you ate dinner with their family, you know their kids, you know, you same birthday, and when they die, it's like a piece of your a piece of your soul is gone. You're looking at guys they went to basic training and AIT with, or you know, fa local family members that they're in the unit together. You, you see him in tears, and it's, it's tough. Eeks did not care about winning or losing. It, it wasn't about that to him either. It was just to keep on going. The day I found out, it just, I don't know. You know, through five tours, I've lost a lot of friends from this war. And uh, 
it never gets easier. And you never get used to it. You never get used to the memorials. You never get used to the taps, to the music that's playing, to the pictures, to the memories. It just, it just never gets easier. I came over here and I lost a good friend I went to high school with, I played baseball with. I knew his sister, ate dinner with his mom. And when I heard after my mission that he died, because the vehicle's been struck by a deep buried IED, I was shattered. I, I was breathtaking. I was in tears. My, but what's crazy about it is everyone beside me, they were in tears, but they were also there to put their hand on back and say, hey, Kearney, we're a family. We're a family. And you know what? I held my head up high, took a deep breath, and said, you're right, we're a family. The time for morning has not begun yet. There will be plenty of time for morning when I get home. I'm a sergeant of the United States Army. I can't, I'll never get out of the military. The day I don't get to wear this uniform anymore is going to be the saddest day of my life. I tell you that much.